All right, guys. Uh, today's video is going to be on the Galaxy Nexus, and I want to show you some things on it. So this is the Galaxy Nexus, and this is going to be on how to install uh, Eclipse uh, ROM 3, which is built f with uh, uh, what do I say here? Android 4.2. So here's what I want to show you, just some new features on it. So as you can see, see how it kind of flashes up here on the sides when I turn it on? Okay, that is because you have this feature now. This is on your lock screen, and you can add uh, different scrollable features. Here you hit this one, that's camera. Um, so you can see here it's camera. Uh, I don't want to show it to you, but there you go. And Or we can go back, see here. And we can just pull down, and you can go this way, and you have what's what's this song, or you can add something else, like your text messages or a digital clock, or whatever. Um, so, also on the lock screen, just want to show you this really quick. You still have all your un your unlock here, um, and then at the bottom you have Google Now, so you can go right into Google Now. Sorry if it's too bright there. So this is what, what we're looking at here. This is, like I say, Eclipse ROM uh, 3. This is build 3, I think. And um, I'm going to show you how to install it. Uh, first thing I would recommend doing, though, uh, is make sure you have a recovery system that works with uh, Jelly Bean 4.2. Um, so I would go into Goo Manager, because this is what I like using, which is right here. And you can download this from the... Uh, Google Play um, and then just go up to the top and hit install open recovery script click that and that's going to install the latest Torp recovery which is uh, functional with uh, Jelly Bean 4.2 Jelly Bean 4.2 renames um, like your SD card in your file system differently so it doesn't work correctly until you have that update so make sure you have that, make sure you got root access, obviously, to unlock bootloader, um, and get your uh, Eclipse ROM 3 uh, for the Galaxy Nexus Toro, mine's Verizon, so Toro is what it is, and your GGAPs from Nitro, I'll put links to both of those things down in the description, um, and then we're just going to reboot into recovery. So you can do it two ways, you can actually go into um, Goo Manager, if you have this done and you can say reboot recovery or I think I don't know if it's built into this yes it is reboot and to recovery if you're on stock you won't be able to reboot into recovery from the power button you will have to do it from an application or you will have to reboot into recovery uh, by holding down your power button and your I think volume and then cycling through to it says recovery and then selecting recovery you can do that from when it's powered off so this should boot up Torp Recovery, and we're going to kind of go into the install on it. And let's see here. Come on. All right, so basically, um, if you're on Eclipse, you can go ahead and you can actually do what's called Dirty Flash this. Um, which basically means you're going to go into Wipes, and you're going to wipe Cache, and you're going to swipe it. And you're going to wipe Delvic, and you're going to swipe that. And you're not going to reset uh, right here, factory reset. You're not going to wipe data. Um, if you're on an Eclipse build already, you can do that and just update that way and everything. If you're not, you're going to want to go in there and make sure that you do those three and factory reset. Uh, then you're going to go to installs, and you're going to look for this right here. Eclipse 3 Toro Progress 3. Zip. And you're going to flash that. And then the G-Gaps for it are down here in the bottom, which is G-Gaps Jelly Bean 4.2 right here. And you're going to flash that. So once those two flash, it's going to take you about, I don't know, five minutes to flash both of those round, uh, files. Really simple. And then you just reboot your device. And reboot right here. System. So once you've done that, reboot your device and everything should boot up. Because you um, wiped cache and you wiped uh, Delvet cache, you are going to go through the Android is upgrading process. Um, anytime you wipe either of those, you will go through that process and it'll uh, optimize your applications. I didn't do that right now, just showing you how to do it. Um, so this is going to boot up. This is the Eclipse boot animation. Um, so we're going to go through that. 
boot up and you'll be running Eclipse. Once this boots up, I'm going to show you guys just a couple more things on it. Some of the features that are neat about Eclipse specifically and just about 4.2 Android Jelly Bean. So let's let this boot. It should just take a sec and then we will uh, show you. It actually looks like it's going to do it right now. All right, so we fully booted back up here. Um, so right now, this is actually using Nova Launcher. This thing comes with Lu Luma. I think that's how you spell it, say it. Luma Launcher. Um, I really like Nova Launcher, so that's why I've got it. Um, so let's just kind of go into some of the applications on it. Um, you do have the new Gmail, which is right here, which has this push away your uh, um, emails right here. Also, if you want to do like a reply, it has this new keyboard, which has the swipe built into it, um, which is really, really nice. And you can see it kind of going over my finger and how it, it draws or writes, whatever you want to say. So um, right here, you can see it. It's just kind of making up the word as I go. And you don't have to use that. You can type your normal way too. It's either way is fine. So very nice. I like that a lot. Um, has that feature in there. Obviously it does have uh, the new camera which I will show you some of the features on it. Here's your kind of quick settings on it. It's dark because I'm putting it against this white backdrop. But uh, front facing camera which you'll see me in the camera. Yay! And reversed. So that's basically your camera right here. Um, you also have your new gallery, which you can slide to get to your gallery right here. Just some pictures and stuff I have in there. Um, it also has right here, right here you have Photosphere, which does function on it. Takes some pretty cool pictures um, by moving around with the gyroscope in the phone. It's really neat. Uh, obviously your panorama mode also has that. Again, it's just black because of my background. So we have that, like I say, new gallery, um, Gmail's new, let's see what else we got in here. Um, also, I don't know if this is really new or not, I think it's a little new. I found on uh, YouTube that if you have like a Google TV thing, it has this little feature up here on the top, a little icon back next to my search bar or my search glass right there that you can click that and if you have Google TV and this is on the same network you can hit that and you can actually hit play on here and it'll play it on your Google TV which is pretty sweet I like that a lot cool little feature um, other than that I mean this thing does come with super user or super sue I should say um, uh, terminal a couple other features right there um, but yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. I don't see anything else really too new. Um, the clock widget is also actually new. Let's go back to that. Let's go to clock. This is new, new looking. So you have your clock. You have a stopwatch, I think. Oh no, it's a timer. So you got a timer on here. You've got, this is a stopwatch. Stopwatch, built right into it. And then you have your alarm. Sorry, I don't know why it's doing that. But you got all that kind of stuff in there. Um, when it comes to like cool settings and stuff, uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, you got this. This is this is kind of cool. This is your pull down. And you hit this button and you have all your settings. And you have even battery percent right here. Um, little quick toggles. This is all actually not even a modification. This is strictly uh, Jelly Bean uh, 4.2. So let's go into settings though. Uh, and I'll show you guys really quick what has been added. Um, so this is all normal. Systems, this is the Eclipse settings. This is pretty much the only thing that's really been added right now. Nitroglycerin is really working on this round. He's doing a lot of development on it. There'll be a lot more modifications coming. But basic, basically, this is just your status bar, your battery bar stuff. And then this little bar across the top, which mine is blue, that's a battery bar. Um, things like that. And just some quick tweaks in here for battery. Um, he will be adding, I'm sure, a lot more to this systems things right there. Probably like C CPU speeds and things like that will all be in there. Uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to get this thing right here. Developer options. This is where you need to turn on USB debugging if you're going to do much with your phone. But the way you get that, because it's not on there normally, is you go into About Phone. You guys haven't seen this before. And you just tap on Build Number. And you can see right there above my finger it says, No need, you are already a developer. If you're not 
and you don't have the developer settings, you go in here and you tap that about seven times, and then you go back and you'll have these developer options. They're not in there uh, enabled normally. You have to go and hit build number to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the setup here. Um, I like it, it runs really well. Battery life seems to be pretty good on it. Um, you got your little icons down here, your recent applications, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so that's it guys, that's my little review of uh, Eclipse 3, Build 3, or Progress 3, whatever you want to say. And uh, also, if you guys want to like update this when it gets a new release, it's really simple. Just go on, you wipe your cache, your Delvic, and, and you flash your the new update ROM and then in the gaps again, G gaps again, and bam, you're updated. You don't have to wipe any data, nothing. It's really simple to update through this thing. So very, very nice. Props to Nitroglycerin. This guy does an awesome job on all his ROMs. I love them. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this, and hopefully we'll catch you guys next time.